businessman, president and presidential candidate as of this recording, Donald Trump is rather famous, has been for most of his life uh, with his brand, um, grandioso personality and his appearance to the point that he is commonly made fun of or mocked or however you want to phrase it in various media from obvious places like The Simpsons to even places like Sesame Street making reference to him. But how would Japanese anime slash manga handle him? So here are three different times that anime slash manga have made fun of Donald Trump. Welcome back, this is Jack. All right, note, the first two I'm going to show you are showing more the business mogul archetype that Donald Trump created and has been made fun of for a long time. And the last one will actually be making fun of him as president. We'll get to that in at last. In fairy tale, one of the first quests, bounties, whatever you want to call them, that Natsu and Lucy Hartfilia go on is to retrieve a book that was written by an imprisoned author from this rich Everloo guy who, if you just look at him casually, you're like, that's clearly supposed to that, that's clearly supposed to be a uh, reference to Donald Trump there with his weird hair color, his frame, so to speak. The only thing that's kind of missing is probably the fake tan, but I don't know if this was before he became famous for having such a fake tan. Eh, we'll see. Um, this is an older one, obviously. But watching the episode, reading the manga, whatever, you kind of get the feeling of a character who's exceedingly rich, um, thinks that money is everything and is only wants to surround themselves with beautiful women kind of literally how he wrote his autobiography. And now moving on to a more recent one in the form of One Punch Man. In One Punch Man, you have a, we're gonna call them an activist group who wants to um, overthrow the nine to five work job thing. And I don't, I don't really know what they thought they were going to achieve, but anyway, they tried to destroy a building, an apartment complex or a hotel, whatever you wanna call it, that is owned by a rich billionaire by the name of Zenryu. And just casually looking at him, you're like, yep, that's, yep, yep, that's one of them. They're making fun of him. The building in question also has a giant turd on the giant golden turd on the top. And of course, this is them making fun of a person who is reported to have a golden toilet. I wish I was making these things up. All right, here's the one that y'all are probably waiting for, where they actually make fun of him for being president. In the life of the immortal king, which I think this one actually might be Chinese. I could be mistaken. I don't care. It deals a lot more with like Zen philosophies and weird stuff like that. Whatever. Anyway, not important. During the second season, there is a portal hole that gets ripped between the regular world and the demon realm because of the events of season one. And during that time, to, in order to figure out how to deal with the demons, they go, we're gonna call on our elders. And one of the elders is clearly Donald Trump. I've got an easy solution. We could just build a wall, a huge one. Frankly, I alone can revive the energy and then make the human race great again. That is fake news. Trust me, I know demons. A lot better than you. Now, this is not to say anything political about the character, about what I think of him. Because if you want to know what I think of him, I got my Jack Daly streaming channel where I actually will answer questions like that. Trust me, I'll go all day about that stuff. But this is just times that anime and manga have decided to make fun of the braggadocious billionaire. Anyway, see you on the next one.